Hey everyone, it's Christy with AG Takes Over. Um, so today's video is kind of a combination of things. It's not really an unboxing, but a reveal of a new outfit. No, no spoilers here. I put it in the title. Um, so we got Julie's school outfit recently. It's also a not even a one item 10 looks. It's a one, more like one item coming up on 20 looks. <laughs> Uh, it's just me playing around with styling this outfit. And instead of taking just one article of clothing, which, which is what I usually do in a one item 10 looks, it's just styling an entire outfit. So you'll see the shoes in one outfit or, um, you know, the shirt multiple times or just the skirt or just the little granny square, uh, vest. And it's also the first time that I've ranked, or not ranked, but graded the outfits that I created. So yeah, something familiar, something different. Let's just dive in. So first, I wanted to show you before I took off her outfit. This is an outfit that my older daughter put on Julie the last time she dressed her. So Julie's actually my daughter Annika's doll. Annika's 22. This is not her childhood doll. She never had these dolls when she was a child because her mama was a <laughs> broke mama. Um, but we um, got this for her a few years. We got Julie for her a few years ago. So this is the cute outfit that she picked for, and I think it's adorable. I didn't want to take it off of her without somebody else seeing it. All right, but now here's what I'm going to be doing. It's everything's in hyperlapse. And then I will do still photos at the end of, you know, putting each outfit on. So bonus, you not only get to see what I'm putting on as I'm doing it, but also a little bit, a little peek into some of the ways that I organize my clothing. And I was trying, <laughs> when you do this many outfits in like a day, um, it, the doll room can become quite messy. So I was trying to be mindful of that and put things away like in that sunglasses or glasses box that you saw. This is a custom made coat. And if I can remember where we got it, I will note that in the description, but it is amazing quality. Like it did not come cheap and it was so worth it. We got it for an Amanda Gorman photo shoot, but yeah, here she is. I love this color blocking. So obviously that was using the shirt and the shoes. There's those glasses again. See, look, putting the thing, I didn't put it away, but I at least put it back on its hanger. At the end, I'll show you the pile of clothes that was left over the aftermath of this. All right, generic blue skirt. I do like, I don't know where that skirt's from, but I do like that the entire thing on Velcros. Here's where I store my hair things. They're in a tub, by the way. I don't know how much you could see, but um, they're in a tub. And then within the tub, I have baggies of things like ponytail holders or just head elastics or bobby pins so that it's not quite so chaotic within that little tub. I don't know. I have thoughts about this. In the end, I feel like I like the top and the vest a lot. The hat's not exactly what I was hoping for, but it did remind me of one of her hats, so that's why I left it. I wish I would have gone with different, like waist down, I would have changed it up. Maybe pants and a loafers or something. Yeah, yeah, didn't end up being my favorite. That's okay. I don't, with this kind of challenge, if I were going to leave the doll in the outfit, I would go back and like tweak things until I got it to be exactly what I wanted for this challenge. I just kind of pick something and put it on, show you. Um, because I know I'm five minutes later, I'm taking the outfit off and doing something else entirely. I don't like hyper fixate at all. <laughs> it is what it is. Some of these will be stronger looks than others. Um, those Western chic boots and the shirt is from the like it's not the first day outfit it's another one of the very early it has like the magenta top and bottom and the denim vest somebody will put it in the comments I can't remember right off the top of my head but yeah I think this was really cute um 
you know, the it was a take on putting a long sleeve shirt under that granny square, but having it be something different, a little bit more casual look. I ended up really liking that one. Speaking of casual, I th I thought I would approach this like doing a, let me go on Pinterest and get ideas. So I went on Pinterest and typed like granny square sweaters and everything was so different from what this sweater actually looks like or from what other pieces I own that I was like, oh, this is going to be too much work trying to recreate these looks. And honestly, a lot of these looks, I don't even like that much and I don't even really want to recreate them. So I, I looked on Pinterest and tr like entertained the idea of that approach for a few minutes. And then I was like, no, I'll just go back to doing what I do. And then um, I wanted, I, I was like, as I was contemplating outfits, kept forgetting about the tights because I don't know who creates an outfit around tights. But I was like, well, if I'm saying styling this outfit, then I should probably make a point to <laughs> include the tights too. And I did not love how this turned out. So I'm thinking that styling these tights, it would be better to use um, maybe some little boots and make them part of a more wintry outfit, which I obviously totally could have done. But again, I don't tend to go back and and fixate on these. I just do them and they are what they are and then I move on. It's very sweet looking. Yeah. Put the bracelets away. I kind of like doing it this way. Um, it's, it's good for people to get a sense, I guess, of at, at the end when you see the, the mess. Because we don't all approach doll dressing the same way, right? Some people have a smaller collection or they only dress one doll at a time. And other times people undertake massive things like dressing 85 dolls. I was really excited about this one because I felt like it would look like it could have been part of actual Julie's collection. Especially putting the belt on over. Like if that's just Yvette's belt, but putting it on over the skirt really made it look like cohesive. And I believe those are the World Traveler Italy boots. I'd have to be able to see the back to see if I use the ones with the yellow part on the back. But yeah, that looks pretty intentional. The belt looks like this was part of a cohesive piece. So fun fact, I will tell you two things that I really became aware of as I was working on this. Um, this Julie we purchased used. Her eyes are drive me bonkers. She's never looking at the camera, like with both eyes. And um, her hair, this is just, her wig is not in great shape. So I think I'm going to give it another chance. Um like see if I can smooth some of it out and and just get it in better shape, you know, take a straight iron to it. Um, wet for anybody who is a novice watching this. Um, on lowest heat, wet, moving through small sections very quickly, et cetera, et cetera. But I think I'm going to give it one more shot and see if I end up happier with the state of her hair. It's just been a while. I, I revamped it when we got the doll for my daughter and then We've had the doll for several years and played with her and dressed her and whatnot. And her hair needs a little love. So I'm going to try that. And then if it doesn't work, I'm considering getting a new head for her. Because I know she's available, but it would certainly be cheaper to just send her in and get a new head. If we used a reward, it would basically be free. And I think that it would give us a better chance of getting one with eyes that aren't so off. Um, I'm all the jewelry that you're seeing, I believe m with the exception of like, if I use Courtney's bracelets, I think pretty much all the jewelry that you're seeing is stuff that I've made for the dolls. And I don't know if you caught that, but there was a clip 
on the back of that jacket. I did that because the jacket's meant to be worn closed, buttoned up. And so it hides a lot of the purple underneath. And I wanted you to be able to see the purple underneath. So I just grabbed a claw clip and clipped the back of the, the jacket. I wouldn't leave it that way for a long time, but for pictures, it really did help you see the shirt underneath. I did that with the, um, the longer yellow trench coat also. And then I realized, hmm, I haven't tried putting the shirt underneath a dress, so let me try that. Yeah. I don't know. Would you would you personally um, wear a mock turtleneck long sleeve shirt under a springy short dress? <laughs> I'm thinking most of us would not, but maybe, maybe some of you would. All right, back to the skirt. Speaking of summery, um, Nina from Small Scale Styles made this shirt. Um, other shops featured in here are Bella Boo's Closet and um, Dream Marie Boutique. I I finally decided to just have one glass container for all the, it didn't have to be glass, it just happened to be, but one container for all the little beaded bracelets that I've made because I was storing them with the rest of the doll jewelry and they were so crammed in there that I've made enough. They warrant their own little container now. I'm such a fan of making these. It, you very affordably can make so many different colors and it really can help an outfit feel more cohesive. A lot of times when I post these, people will comment, you know, it's the, Julie doesn't have earrings, so I didn't use any earrings on her, but um, a lot of times people will comment, it's the little details, it's the jewelry or the accessories that you put with it that really make the outfit. And I wholeheartedly agree. In fact, I kind of leaned into that a little bit later in the video. There are some dolls where, or some dolls, some outfits where, oh, this is one actually, where I kept the base pieces and it's kind of like, um, you know, option 11, option 11 B. So I didn't change any of the fabric, the, the like core pieces of the outfit, but I changed maybe the shoes or the hat or the jewelry just to show, um, how much of an impact that stuff makes. By the way, this little bralette is no so. Um, I have a tutorial for it on the tutorial playlist on my channel. It's from over a year ago, but if you do not sew, all this was was some stretchy lace you can buy on Amazon and some glue. That's it. And those little, um, I'm showing you not the dressing part, but this is one where I just switched up some of the accessories so I changed the hat out, I changed the shoes out, and I added those little boot, um, whatever you would call those, <laughs> boot toppers that were also no-so. Get some more bracelets. These bracelets like really came in handy. Anybody who knows my channel knows I'm putting my favorite jeans on the doll. No one item multi looks would be complete on my channel without these Bella, Boo, Bella Boo's closet jeans. I considered putting like one purple and one blue bracelet on each wrist and then decided I liked it better putting the purple on one side and the blue on the other. So we've got low ponytails and a little bucket hat. And then I'm not showing you any video, but here's if we take off the bucket hat and just use little hair clips. And here's if we use the hair clips that came with the outfit and we also add some accessories. So the um, purse and the glasses that you see there are from the Mooncakes outfit from Maple Lee. And then the guitar obviously is Tenny's. Okay, so here's something interesting. I tried this shirt on. I decided I wanted to incorporate pieces from her um, original meat outfit. And when I tried it on, um, I put the shirt on the way it's supposed to be and I went, oh my gosh, you're totally going to see the top and I really don't want you to. So I put it on backwards and I just covered up the top. It didn't look bad anyway, but I kind of, you know, made it where you won't notice it by putting on a necklace that I made. 
And then the headscarf is from her maxi print dress. And this is so cute. I don't know if you agree, but I really like it. And again, partially because it's almost exclusively using pieces from Julie's collection, but I really feel like this could be part of her collection. Like this could be a separate outfit for her. Here's another shirt from Nina at Small Scale Styles. And again, I wanted to lean into some pieces from her other outfits. Those shoes are from her tunic outfit. Of course, I had just the right colors for the bracelets because I have a gajillion of them. And pulled her braid back. Didn't do anything really fancy with her shirt, so it's not a, or her hair. It's not a super accessorized look, but it's cohesive and I like it. I am going to show all the um, outfits again at the end, so because I grade them. At this point, my daughter was up from her rest, and she got to help me. Um, she opined on a couple things. I showed her two shirts for this outfit, and she picked one. And then she also wanted to put that little toy in there, which she has creatively named Cutie. <laughs> little Cutie, I think. She was chattering away the whole time, but um, ab about stuff that has nothing to do with, with anything. So um, I obviously cut out the sound. <laughs> and all of the outfits starting from with the last one on through the rest were ones where I, I thought I was already done because I usually do this as one item, 10 looks. And I was like, I have 10 looks. And while I was working, I just kept thinking of more things. And I was like, oh, I didn't even use that, um, that school jumper. And that would be so cute because it's really neutral. And I had meant to use this hat and I didn't. So let me grab that. That hat is from the Maple Lee Mooncakes outfit. And then my kiddo helped me with the, um, with the glasses. She got to pick the glasses. She was mostly distracted, so it's not like she was really helping me, but occasionally she would look over and take an interest again. <laughs> All right, so what I liked about this is that these green overalls totally felt 70s the second I put them on Julie and the second I put them with this mock turtleneck. What I didn't like was the accessories. I'm not crazy about the headband that I chose or the shoes. It's not bad, but I think I was just getting like... I was having a lot of distractions, a lot of loud four-year-old distractions at that point. Our little one knew that I was taking her to the Y to swim afterwards, and so she was a little bit, at this point, anxious for me to hurry up. <laughs> I probably could have kept going. This outfit was so versatile. I think I just could have kept going and going and going, but I decided I should cut it short soon because she's about done. Tried something different by putting the um, hair clips in the buttonholes. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right. And then I wanted to, of course, show you her in her actual outfit. Not that you haven't seen that on several people's unboxings. I was in no rush to be the first to get this video up because I knew I was going to take a different approach to it anyway. Um, but yeah, here's a little bit of the in the middle of things. <laughs> it gets chaotic it's a really small room so I feel like I can't move and then here's the pile that was left at the end because I at least did put the shoes away as I worked and next up um, it's not really going to be third second first place but I did go back afterwards and grade each of them with letter grades and I wanted some nuance so there are pluses and minuses on the grades um, and I started with the lowest. So we're going to go from my least favorite. None of them were fails. So that's good. But I did not love this outfit. So let's pause and talk about why. It's hilariously, well, one, I used a choker and I was just trying to branch out. But if you know me, you know, I don't like the choker. So I don't even know why I did that. Um, it's really the tights. 
which is hilarious because that was the thing that I was incorporating. I actually think this outfit is cute, but I don't think those shoes look good over the tights. And I really do like the shoes with it. So I think this would have looked cute without the tights. And again, probably to showcase the tights, a good option would have been go with some boots and some, you know, white and silvery wintry kind of stuff. I totally could have done that, but eh, it's all right. It was not a fail, but definitely not impressive. I almost could say this would be a D plus too. I didn't end up liking it. And maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't like the tights today. This was one of the very, I think this was the very last one that I did. And I just think by this time, my daughter was still in, Grace had come in and was talking to me and I'm kind of used to doing this challenge by myself. And so I think I was just very distracted and, and knew that it was time to go to the Y and swim. <laughs> so um, it feels a little not well thought out because it was a little not well thought out. Imagine that. So here's another one that was toward the end where good base, but it takes time. It takes time to pick the right accessories sometimes. And um, yeah, yeah. Also, I guess one takeaway is if you cannot be rushed and you cannot have other distractions vying for your attention when you're dressing your dolls, you might be happier with the mix and match creations you, you come up with. But here with the same grade uh, C as the last outfit was one that I did almost at the very beginning. And I can't even say then the sweet spot is in the middle once you're warmed up because you'll see, you'll see later that that doesn't hold true. So yeah. Again, I liked more of this. I think it's just the waist down. I think if I had done um, like maybe some dark wash, tailored jeans, or even just some slacks and loafers, this would have been a cute, like a little bit butchy, a little bit androgynous look that I would have liked a lot more. I don't dislike it. It's all right. This one I appreciate just for the fun colors and it really is mixing things up. Plus this orange outfit, the birthstone outfit, I didn't buy all that long ago. So it's nice to get some use out of it. Um, I didn't think that the bracelets were going to work because it was long sleeve and I didn't want to push anything. I didn't want to push the sleeves up, but they kind of set well right at the very bottom of the sleeve. So that was nice. Her hair up close was definitely showing the, the mess that it kind of is with this hairstyle. And then next is one of the outfits. And, and here's where you really can see that the accessories make a difference because um, I gave different grades to this skirt, shirt, cardigan combo based on what the accessories were. So these accessories I didn't like quite as much. Um, the white doesn't tie into anything. And I think I just didn't like the way the hat was um, laying, but also I didn't dislike it because it's a B minus. That's not exactly a bad grade. The next one, I wasn't sure. I don't know. I try, <laughs> I'm like, I'm already giving myself pluses and minuses, but then I still vacillate even further. Um, I don't think that I mind, even though it's kind of improbable, I don't think that I mind the mock turtleneck long sleeve thing under a you know, um, spaghetti strap, short spring dress. I don't mind that. I don't even think that I mind the pigtails. I think maybe if I had ponytail holders, and I think Gabriella does, maybe if I had ponytail holders that matched the shirt, I would have liked them better. I thought, you know, well, this will pull out some of those other pinks in the dress. But in the end, I think I wanted something that was darker and matched the shoes and the shirt. Maybe that's it. This one was a solid B. Um, there was only one solid B where I was like, yep, it's a B. And yeah, no, no explanation needed. I like, I, I like this. I'm glad that it doesn't have the tights on because I like those shoes on the bare legs just fine. And it's one of the few outfits where um, I'm, the jewelry is not from me. So it's a Courtney bracelet. But yeah, I like it. Why did this one warrant a B plus and the last one warranted a B? I think because I incorporated a piece of another outfit of hers. Maybe that's it. Or I changed up her hair and did something I hadn't done with it for the rest of the outfits. I don't know. Here is the first, I believe, of this outfit. I did three iterations of it. So this one, um, 
I think is at the bottom of the three. I didn't end up loving the combination of the bucket hat and the pigtails as much as I liked the other options that I gave it. This was really cute. Solid. Um, I don't think I need any explanation. By the way, those shoes are from the Italy World Traveler outfit and I use them all the time. And yes, I will say that every time because if you can get that outfit, if for no other reason than the shoes, it's worth it. It's worth it. This one I talked about earlier, I really like it. I think the only reason it wasn't an A is probably because one, I need to wash that white shirt. And two, I'm not sure about the headband. Part of me thinks, well, you should have done something purple. And then I'm like, no, what I like about this is that there isn't so much purple, that it's a little bit more neutral with a pop of color. I don't know if a darker brown or um, a navy blue or a white headband I would have liked better because this doesn't match anything. But at the same time, it's neutral. So I don't know. I really liked this outfit. And then here we start getting into a territory. I maintain that this looks like it could have been part of her actual official wardrobe. I love that it includes um, stuff from a girl of the year, stuff from historical, stuff from a contemporary, the world by us dolls. Like it's pieces from so many different lines of American girl dolls, but comes together to make what I think is a pretty legit historical outfit for Julie. Um, probably the only reason it's got a B plus there as a possibility is because those tights, if you get up close, were pretty well snagged. So if I'd had brand new cream color ribbed tights, I sh she definitely would have been an A minus. And speaking of A minus, um, here is the second iteration of the, the jeans and granny square vest. This time, no bucket hat, no low pigtails. I just had these clips, these hair clips from Target and put them in her hair. And I liked that slightly better. And then this, remember the other one was like a B plus or a B minus or something and with different accessories. So the bucket hat from the newer bucket hat turned inside out or whatever. So the color is outside and the sandals are, I believe, from the Orange You Glad It Summer outfit. So I, this just feels, even with a sweater cardigan, Somehow, and probably this feels totally summery, really festive and fun, and I like it. This one, I think, warranted an A because I was really, like, one, feels like a co cohesive Julie outfit, obviously, because it has lots of Julie pieces in it. But also, I'm giving myself extra points for creativity by putting the shirt on backwards and by having a necklace that is appropriate to like Julie's look and also is super functional in kind of hiding the um, Velcro part at the neck there. Yeah, I was happy with this. It's only a difference of like, you know, a B plus to an A minus to an A, but I did have different feelings about this outfit depending on the accessories. And I ended up liking this set of accessories the most. I mean, that purse is really cute and totally fitting for Julie. Um, next up was another A. So this flower crown can be worn kind of back on the head like this, or it could have gone closer to the forehead. It would have looked good either way. Small scale styles top, World by Us, um, that is Yvette's purse. And um, those sandals also belong to Julie already. So yeah, I don't know. She looks kind of Coachella worthy in this and it's adorable. Maybe she looks Woodstock worthy. Let me get my eras right. Okay, and then another A. So this is the, what, one, two, three, fourth A. Um, the next one is an A plus, friends. I don't know if you remember which one has not been shown yet, but the next one is my only A plus. It's the last one. So A for this, it's an Our Generation skirt necklace that I made, sandals from some AG outfit that I can never remember the name of, and or maybe they're, I don't know, maybe they're from a mix and match. Somebody will say it in the comments. And a really nice tailored um, coat that I just think is gorgeous and had, like I mentioned, has that claw clip holding it in the back so that we can actually see this skirt and see this shirt. And it's lovely. Also, yes, I did intentionally take some of her pictures with her looking off to the side. So it would be less distracting to me, the eye thing, <laughs> whatever. Some of them I'm like, put sunglasses on, look off to the side. And here, friends, was my favorite. This is the first outfit I did. And in the end, it was my favorite. 
I love this. I think it is so chic and classy and it is modern. Um, but it's just, it's also like timeless. It's gorgeous. And it incorporates one element of her, um, collection because those, I mean, aside from the outfit that I'm focusing on, but her glasses, um, those glasses are part of her collection. So yeah, I, I especially liked the outfits where I incorporated something that was already hers, but I just liked doing this. I think honestly, I could spend a few more hours and come up with another 20 looks. If you don't already have this outfit, let me know in the comments, are you planning on getting it? Because it's a lot of bang for your buck. Like you can make modern looks, you can make historical looks, you can make a gajillion looks. Um, and hopefully this has proven that. Like, I think you knew that anyway. I don't think that anybody was arguing this. I'm so grateful that American Girl gave us this outfit that has pretty much nothing but solid pieces that we can get so much use out of. And then this very unique, what's going to be recognizable granny square shirt is kind of the thing that makes it historical and makes it fit Julie, right? Beautiful beautiful. Well done, American girl. All right. Let me know if you have it, if you plan on getting it, if you enjoyed this, um, any other, you know, combinations that you think would look good with pieces from this outfit, whatever that's doll related you want to share in the chat. I will be back within probably a week with another video. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. If you have watched all the way to the end and you're not subscribed, um, you probably should subscribe because it seems like you liked it. Okay. Bye.